Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This piano is, uh, is one that, uh, that I've sold quite a few of over the years and I've, I've personally gone and, and been the, the technician to, <clears throat> to foresee um, or oversee the, the ongoing maintenance, the tuning and, and that sort of thing. And it's a piano that I absolutely love. Um, I've been affiliated with High Loon now since, uh, well, since 2010. So going on seven years now as of when I'm making this video. And um, and it's just a it's a brand that I'm that I'm very much a believer in, and I've kind of watched as the industry has has accepted this brand more and more, and uh, um, even even as the as the brand is winning awards, um, this is a phenomenal brand, and this this particular model um, I I just absolutely love it, so. Um, uh, one one more thing that I'll that I'll mention before I before I talk about this particular model, um, I was already a, a huge believer in this in this brand as being just a really really high quality, well built, well crafted, well designed piano um, for a very very reasonable price. That that it's just kind of the the, the marriage between the two. Um, I was already a believer in that by in 2013. When I went to the factory, because I'd just seen so many pianos, hundreds by that by that point, come through my store, um, and pianos that I had personally worked on, prepped, you know, taken them out of the box and, and done the prep work myself, and, and gone through it all the way through to to uh, delivering it and uh, tuning it over the years for for clients, um, and. I was already a believer because because I had you know I had with with my own two hands experienced how how good this this craftsmanship how good the quality is how how good it sounds. Um, when I went to the factory, I went to the factory like I said a minute ago in 2013, and what I saw there was was really in a lot of ways it was it was no surprise it was just these these pianos were very efficiently built, but but with a, a great attention to detail. And, and the, the materials that they were using, the craftsmanship, all of these kinds of things were, um, it was very impressive to see. I won't get, get into that anymore into this video. If you're interested in that, I've, I've made a whole playlist of, of videos from the, from the Highland Factory. You can find that um, on, my, on my channel. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many, a few dozen, I think, videos of, of the Highland Factory, and you'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay. This particular model, um, I, I like it very much. It's it's almost five feet. It's it's a half an inch shy of five feet. So for somebody that is looking for a uh, a baby grand piano, um, this this piano is my my number one recommendation. It has a it has a particularly large presence, especially considering its size. Usually a smaller piano will kind of have a a tin canny sort of sound. Um, this one absolutely does not. It has a it has a much much bigger presence than you would expect for a piano this size. Um, and it has a it has a rich warm tone, which which is another thing that I that I I love about Highland in general, um, and have had great luck with this model in particular. Um, the uh, the touch touch is very good. Um, it's it's easy to regulate it, it. It does what I want it to do when I regulate it, when I work on it. And by the way, let's, let's check this out. Um, regulation is a process of getting all of these parts into proper alignment, proper functioning with each other. So like this spring, for example, making that spring the right strength, um, all of this built-in adjustability, like this little screw here that is attached to the jack, making that aligned with this leather coated part, the knuckle. Anyway, all of those parts, I don't have to get into that too much on this video. Needless to say, uh, on, on the high wind, it does what I want it to do. It feels very good, it regulates well. Um, so, uh, so, so the touch is very consistent um, and it's correct. It's, it's the, it's a, um, I don't know what else to say about that, just the correct touch. Um, <clears throat> This, this one has uh, the bird's eye maple, uh, which is just a, in the inner room, which is just a uh, cosmetic kind of touch, I guess. But, uh, but I, I find it very attractive. I, a lot of 
a lot of my clients find that very attractive as well. That's on, that's on uh, or is an option on all of their grands. Most of them that, that, uh, that, I, that I have have that automatically. It also has the slow fall uh, lid, which um, is kind of a kind of a safety feature, so that uh, so that you can't get your get your hand smashed by accident if this this part here called the lid prop accidentally gets knocked out. Um, it won't come slamming down, but uh, I guess it also has the the extra added benefit. I'm just making it super, super easy to lift up. Um, these these lids are are I don't know 70, 80 pounds, something like that would be my guess, and they're just a, a major hassle to to lift. And, and with that system, it makes it very easy. Um, overall, uh, the the craftsmanship on this, the the materials, like I was saying a few minutes ago, you can tell as a technician when I work on this. Some of the things that I see, that I, that I notice um, when I'm working on it, just kind of things are beefy and tough and well built. They're, it's not like a lot, of these, um, a lot of these pianos, particularly from the 80s and 90s, but I still see, I still see some, some pianos that I work on today that don't have quite this, it's, it's, just, it's just substantial. And, and as an example, and, and I wouldn't necessarily say that this is like this is a reason to, to purchase this piano, but it's sort of indicative of how everything else is built in the guts. So what I'm referring to is just like the thickness of the rim. It's just this very thick, solid, like I said, substantial rim. And same with the, the music desk. This is not a chintzy kind of cheap music desk that'll last, you know, for five years and then be in need of repair. Same with same with the the other other casework and these legs. They're just really big, beefy legs and these these fat uh, casters that uh, um, <clears throat> you don't necessarily see on on other pianos. The uh, scaling it, it has a, a duplex scaling, which is a which is a Steinway innovation going way back. Um, a lot of pianos, particularly higher end pianos, have adopted that duplex scaling. Um, lower end pianos have not. Uh, this piano, like I said, is in every way except for price a high end piano, and that's and that's one of the one of the features that uh, that um, this this model uh, boasts. Um, other other aspects. The, uh, I also visited uh, the um, what, when I was in China. You'll you'll see you'll see if, if you're interested um, the 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 soundboard and the um, the the bridges being manufactured. So the soundboards are are all manufactured by hand. These are guys that have been with Mr. Chen. By the way, that's uh, Hai Lun is his first name. Chen is his last name. Um, and uh, these are guys that, that have been with him for a long time, and they are they are artisans, they're craftsmen. I, I do a lot of soundboard and, and bridge work myself with chisels and that that sort of that sort of thing. Um, and this is not easy work. And these guys are really really good. They know what they're doing. They're they're putting putting the boards together like like what I saw in the Petrov factory, and sort of determining okay where's the best, where's the tightest grain, how am I going to put this together to 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 give the um, the, the best sounding soundboard that I can that I can you know possibly put together with with these with these pieces of spruce that they're using for their soundboard um, and then uh, uh, for the, for the for the bridge um, something that uh, that I've noticed over the years uh, people will assume that if it's if it's made by hand it automatically must be better. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily subscribe to that. Maybe in certain cases, like in putting together a soundboard, I would agree with that. But in the bridge, I would say that CNC machine, which is, which is how these bridges are manufactured, where everything is absolutely precisely manufactured, um, you can't get any better than that. From piano to piano to piano, the, and the bridge is very important, by the way, for the, for the overall um, final product of the piano. 
the CNC machine, it doesn't vary. It manufactures every uh, bridge exactly as the designer intended, which is a huge deal. Where, where you're doing that by hand, you can't necessarily guarantee that uh, that will be the case. So, um, I think that's, that's, a, that's a major factor in, in why these pianos are so consistent when they, when they come in. The action and the hammers, these are, these are high-end, um, both, both in, um, these, are, these are expensive materials, the, the action and the hammers that are used in the, in the high loon action, and they're very, very good. Again, when I work on them as a technician, they do what I want them to do, and they, and they sound great. Okay, there's a lot more that I could say about this piano. I've had a lot of experience with this particular model. Um, at my, at my, my home, my, my personal home, I have a Highland Grand and I absolutely love it. And I just have no, no compunction about, about these brands, or about this brand, about these pianos whatsoever. I just, I just love them and I've, I've seen them year after year after year. They're awesome pianos. I'll, I'll say this and then I'll play it. The way I would kind of summarize, sort of boil down uh, High Loon is, is taking what, it, it takes what the, what the West does best, which is design and determining the, the materials, determining, um, well, the, the blueprints of the piano, essentially, the, 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 um, the engineering of the piano takes that and marries it with what the, uh, what the East does best, which is efficiency, um, to create a final product, which is this piano that is a very, very nice piano, um, highly respected in the industry um, for a surprisingly reasonable price. I just found out, it's, it's just barely 2017 as I make this video, and I just found out that, uh, that this last year, 2016, that among acoustic pianos, Hailoon is now number three, the number third best-selling instrument in the United States. Um, Yamaha is, is the number one best-selling uh, piano, acoustic piano. Steinway is number two, Hailoon is number three. So that's um, considering where we came from uh, seven years ago when I started with the with the company or or even longer before that uh, That's really really saying something Okay, let's hear it So what I talked about a few minutes ago just has a this warm round rich tone That I hear not not tinny and obnoxious in the least has plenty of power. That's not my forte, and some people, I don't know, they like to hear both. A couple lines. Yeah, a couple lines.
Thanks, Scott. Mm -hmm. anyway, great piano, love it. I would, I would willingly and enthusiastically pit this piano against, um, well, definitely any other piano in its class. Um, but even, even in pianos of the next class up, I think this piano would, uh, would be a, a pretty tough contender for, for those, those, uh, um, those next class pianos to, to deal with. Great piano, love it. Please come try it for, for yourself, see what you think. My number is 801-830-0011, or you can uh, just come on in. 1497 South State Street in Orem is the address. Thanks for watching.